So welcome back to this channel. So far nalaman na ng buong mundo kung gaano kalukit yung dinanas ng ekonomiya right at the moment when the coronavirus was spreading. So if isa sa mga pinalad na survivor at na survive mo, ano ang naging epekto nito sa ating bansa? Hindi pa huli ang lahat para mawala ka ng pag-asa. At this moment of time, we will try to explore the stock market and how thousands of people nationwide lost their stock value during the March 16 market crash and why it is actually the best time for us to choose the type of investment which it can grow after the pandemic will slowly vanish. So makikita natin sa reality yung epekto ng work at home and social distancing. Dito makikita paano naapektuhan yung mga malalaking kumpanya, especially those companies that are connected to transport station services like planes, cruise line, logistics, and etc. It created an opportunity for the economy to rest on a 10-year stock growth. So there is a capitalist saying na most fortune come after recession or a economic depression. Ang simple meaning nito is that dalawa lang ang choice na pupuntahan ng economy after recession or market depression. Either, number one, society will die, then everything will also die or collapse. Which is very very rare. Like the probability for a thriving system to collapse is 0.032 chance. Human extinction is the best example of the death of the economy. No humans, no stock market, then no problem. But yung number two is actually the best landing option for everyone, which the collapsing economy will still recover no matter what happens. And for a thriving society in the 21st century, the market will still go up and recover no matter what happens. I never know what markets are going to do. Uh, there's never been a time in my life when I, I... I know what markets are going to do over a long period of time. They're going to go up. But uh, in terms of what's going to happen in a day or a week or a month or a year even, uh, I, I, I never felt that I knew it, and I never felt that it was important. I, I, I will say that in 10 or 20 or 30 years, I think stocks will be a lot higher than they are now. So the chances of this fluctuation is actually 98%. Nandun lang magkakatalo kung kailan ito aakyat. One major factor that make the rise of our economy back to its growing potential is when the virus was already gone. Maraming possible factor na pwede ito ulit lumbog. But the optimistic view, if you are a long-term investor, is like a treasure hunting at this moment of time. Where economy are still on a bear market.